Welcome, this is my latest video in my Techbench build, and in my previous video I set up this dual monitor stand, and I'll put a link in the description of my playlist where you can find my previous videos. So in that previous video I took these monitors off of their stands, and I had this Intel NUC connected to the back of one of the monitors, but I couldn't fit it on here with the stand at the same time, so it's sitting on the top of the bench. But I'd like to mount that on the back of the monitor. So I did some searching on Amazon and I came across this product. This should allow me to mount my Intel NUC on the back of the monitor along with the stand. So I'll move this around so we have better access to it. Okay, so I have the Intel NUC here. I'll unplug the power and the HDMI. And I need to mount the screws in the bottom that allow it to attach into this plate. So those attach in here like so. So I'll take a look at this mount. There's a card in here if you have issues with your order. There's a bag of screws and standoffs. So here are the standoffs and the screws. These have threads on the back side. So here we have a parts list and we have instructions here. It says to put the standoffs in the back of the monitor, attach the plate from the NUC into the other side of the bracket, and then attach this plate in between the mount and the monitor, like so. So looking at the back of the monitor here, I can hold the plate up here, and if I put it on this side, the computer will end up right about here. So I'm going to remove the monitor from this stand. So that dual stand got out of balance when I took the one monitor off. So I'll remove these screws here. I'll screw in the standoffs. Now these are going against this plastic here. If I had some small washers I could use them on here. I'm just going to tighten these finger tight so I don't dig into that plastic too much. And this is just sitting on my bench. If this was in an RV or something, you might want those washers so it doesn't wear away as it bounces and jiggles around. Okay, so now I'll put this plate on here and the bracket from the monitor mount will go on top of that. Then I'll see if these thumb screws work in here. Otherwise you could use the screws that came with the mount or with this plate. That seems tight enough. Next I'll mount the plate that came with the Intel NUC on the back here. I'm using the screws that came with the Intel NUC, but if you need different screws, these are an M4 screw with a 0.7 millimeter thread pitch. There we go. Now this will hang right off of here. And the way the NUC is set up, you can Mount it either way. These screws you can mount it like this or like this. So the ports are going to be on the side either way. So I had this big thick HDMI cable and the Intel NUC does require mini HDMI but I got these slim HDMI cables. This is a three foot cable and I also have a one foot cable so I'm going to use that with this adapter and I'll see which one fits here. So that may run into this arm, and if it does, I'll just turn this around so it's on the other side. And that looks like it'll fit fine, this one foot cable. But I like using these slimmer cables than these big thick ones. So I'll disconnect the cable here, I'll take the NUC off, I'll hang this on the mount, and then we'll see if we can mount the NUC in there. Okay, that HDMI cable does fit. And I did look for a slim cable with mini HDMI and regular HDMI, and I didn't find any really slim ones, and the ones I did find were kind of expensive, so this seemed like a good option. Plug the power in here. Put the nut back on. Pull the arm back. Need to readjust the other monitor too.
There we go, I adjusted that a little bit and I have plenty of room here. Am I supposed to peel that plastic off? <laughs> I'll probably do that someday. So I could have to adjust this a little more to make clearance for these USB ports if I need them. The other cable would be the power. There we go. So I may need to tweak that a little bit. It's pretty close to where I need it. I just need to angle it in a little bit. So I have two wires currently coming down from the Intel NUC. I have the power for the Intel NUC and the power for the monitor. If you have a setup where you're using Wi-Fi and a wireless keyboard and mouse, then you just have those two power cords there. Otherwise you may need network cables and mice and keyboard cables too. I currently use a wired keyboard and mouse and I may be adding wired network to this later. But it is nice taking that off the desk. And as I mentioned in the previous video, this mount here can mount in a hole or a grommet in the desk. So after I've used this a little while and I'm sure where I want to put this, I'll probably drill a hole in this bench. So I'll just have the pipe sticking out. And with just the pipe sticking out of the desk and no computer sitting on the desk, that'll free up quite a bit of space. And since I have that slim, short HDMI cable, it's not hanging down either. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.